Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about if you have a moon in the sign of Sagittarius. This is a deep sign of spirituality and truth. And you got to know if your moon is anywhere in this sign from zero to 30 degrees of Sagittarius or 29 degrees, should I say, 29, 59 minutes of the sign of Sagittarius. You're all about truth, finding the truth. You have such strong opinions about this. This is the most important thing to you. So before I continue on, I always want to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter. Go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my beautiful spiritual jewelry. So now I want to really get into the details of a moon in Sagittarius. It is all about truth, spirituality, philosophy, higher learning, education. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter is the most expansive planet of all of teaching, philosophy, truth, and most of all, spirituality. I mean, Sagittarius is about that, but many times you can find people with this sign strong that are extremely religious and can be very self-righteous about their beliefs because this is relative to the ninth house, the ninth sign, Sagittarius. The ninth, ninth house is the house that deals with teaching, higher education, spirituality, the guru. Uh, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is actually called guru, the teacher. So it's usually about high mindedness and spirituality and also adventure. Cause don't forget the ninth house relative to the ninth sign, Sagittarius, all the same, loves to travel, travel long distances, adventures around the world very open-minded, philosophical people, but at the same time, it's their way or the highway because they believe their way of being is the only way to be, but they feel very strongly about convincing other people to believe their way. As a matter of fact, the sign Sagittarius and the ninth house deal with the law. Now, the law can be the man-made law, as in the legal profession, loving to, to find order through laws that regulate and organize humanity, people, things, these rules, and of course, justice to these rules are extremely important to this sign. And at the same time, law can go a bit higher. What is beyond man-made laws? And that's the spiritual law. And that's the law of karma, that everything is what you do, you'll get back. And this is the law of give of cause and effect. So it is the karmic law, and this is very much a part of Sagittarius and Jupiter. Jupiter about expansion. So Sagittarians think big. They want everything to be come out in a big, huge, expanded way. Sometimes this can be over the top. Exaggeration is known to be part of Jupiter. And so can some of the stories that a moon in Sagittarius can give and partake in. It's just like, it's got to be big. It's got to be expansive. It's got to be everything, include everything. But they're very, very attuned to justice, truthfulness, righteousness. They can be extremely opinionated in their ways. But let's talk a little bit more about the the moon being in Sagittarius, if your moon is from zero degrees to 13 degrees, 20 minutes. So this means your moon is not only in Sagittarius, but it's in the nakshatra called Mula. And Mula is, and I don't mean money, Mula means a gathering of, it's called the root star. So its symbol is roots. 
a gathering of roots and these roots are bound. And many times they say that this nakshatra can feel pretty much trapped or hemmed in, somehow bound. They have their hands tied. And remember that this nakshatra mula is ruled by Ketu. And because if you have your moon in mula, this means you started your whole life cycle out in Ketu's dasha. And many, many times people that start out in Ketu's dasha, of course, it depends on what house it's in in their chart, but many times they can start out at a disadvantage. Either they're sick or their family's struggling. Maybe there's a lack of money, but something about difficulty is how they start out their life. If your moon is in Mula, ruled by Ketu, starting out your whole Mahadasha cycle in the cycle of Ketu. But going back to this nakshatra, because this nakshatra called the root star is ruled by the deity called Nariti. And Nariti is the goddess of destruction that does a dance with the skulls and is supposed to be terrifying. And what it really symbolizes is that things have to be destroyed before they can be made new again. So this nakshatra deals with a great deal of destruction. And I do find that people many times with their moon in Mula can be very self-destructive. Sometimes they can have problems with addictions. That's a way that they are self-destructive because this nakshatra is not an easy one. It's actually, this portion of the zodiac is where there are the most black holes from the perspective of Earth, and that has this quality of destruction and dying, such as a star that's dying is a black hole. It sucks in all the energy. It is intense. It's powerful. And these people can be very self-destructive at times. But because of that self-destructive quality, it puts them on the spiritual path. And they usually can make a major transformational change to go from the, from the bottom to a transformational change to enlightenment and spirituality. But it is a very... Um, hard, harsh star to be born under, under with your moon. There is a karma that you came into and usually to serve early on in your life. And that changes your whole perception of the world. So many times people with the star can blame others a lot. And then they deal with a lot of resentment and betrayals. And this is really where the, where the self-destruction comes in because in the essence of blaming other people, they're not taking responsibility for themselves to see where they can change their life. When you blame others, you give your power away to look at what it is that you're doing that causes a circumstance that puts a ball back in your court so that you can do something to make that transformational change that Mula has the great power to achieve. So if your moon sits at 13 degrees, 26 minutes, excuse me, 13 degrees, 20 minutes, excuse me, to 26 degrees, 40 minutes, right in the center of Sagittarius. Once again, 13 degrees, 20 minutes to 26 degrees, 40 minutes of the sign of Sagittarius. Then your moon sits in Purva Ashada. And Purva Ashada actually means early victory. So whenever you talk about Purva or Uttara, Purva means before, earlier, and Uttara means later or latter. So this is the early victory, which means things can happen earlier in life. Because when you're in Uttara Ashada, things happen later in life. But the Purva Ashada, the deity of Purva Ashada is Apeth which is the water god. So it brings 
moisture and rain to to bring fruition to many things. It's the God of the seas and the oceans, the waters, the movement. This is very healing. And another thing about Purva Ashada is it can deal with the god Varuna, which brings protection. And of course, when we're talking about the Ashadas and being in the sign of Sagittarius, it's all about finding truth. It is the truth seeker. And whenever you talk about Purva versus Uttara, Purvas are a little bit stronger and more intense in their in everything that they do. So this is this desire to be right, to be righteous, to always be truthful. They can't understand why or how people can tell a lie because it's so beyond their understanding. They would never tell a lie. It's always to be truthful. And sometimes in this advent to be so truthful, they can be hurtful because many people don't want to be told the truth, not in the way that they feel like you have to have justice and you've got to know this. This is the way it is. And sometimes we need for things to be a little easier than that. So that's what I'm seeing with Purva Ashada. So if you have your moon in the very last degrees of Sagittarius from 26 degrees, 40 minutes till 29 degrees, 59 minutes of Sagittarius, then your moon sits in Sagittarius, but in the nakshatra Uttara Ashada. And what is Uttara Ashada all about? Ladder victory that things come to in the second part of life. And its symbol is actually the elephant tusk, which is powerful. And the deities are the Vishwi Devas, which deals with the universal star. And this deals with the universe, humanity. But let me tell you what this star is truly concerning in Sag, the fight for what's right. That's what they believe in. And they are probably the most sincere, responsible individuals of the Zodiac. But one thing is they don't put up with other people not being responsible and doing what's right. But they are so sincere. And you have to say they have incredible integrity all about them. But I will say they can be very stubborn. And because they're so stubborn and they believe that it's their way or the highway, it actually covers all the sign of Sagittarius, they can have some problems in marriage because they're not very bending. They feel like their way is the only way. And if people don't follow their truths, they're wrong. There's no gray areas usually with this sign. Uh, but, but the point is this entire sign Sagittarius deals with truth, justice, and the higher mindedness deals with a heavy, beautiful degree of spirituality because once they develop a little bit of kindness along with the truth seeking, then they can experience the truth. And the truth is about love and compassion. And actually that's what their counterpart Pisces can deal with too. That's ruled by Jupiter. But Sagittarius is hardcore about justice, truth, and spirituality and higher learning and traveling. They all love to travel. And by the way, the Purva Ashada Purva Ashada is ruled by Venus, which can make it a little bit softer than Uttara Ashada, at times be more artistic than Uttara Ashada, which is ruled by the sun. And the sun is all about what? Business, work, career, and truth as well. Leadership. This is a leadership. To have a moon in Sagittarius, no matter what nakshatra, you will be a leader of truth and 
and leading the way and being a teacher, a professor, a philosopher of the world. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, you can always go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And remember, if you would like to learn Vedic astrology with me, go to my university website, which is universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.